Mike, thanks. An emotional and complicated conversation nationally is focused right here in Indianapolis tonight. The big question was that IMPD officer justified in shooting Reed after he led police on a chase. Community members spending the day, as you just saw, demanding immediate answers from police as more details do start to come to light. Tonight, Fox 59's Courtney Crown talks to clergy and more people in the community. My initial, to be honest with you, was anger. How many times is this going to happen before we get true justice? I was just really, really concerned about this, you know, this whole situation. I wanted to know what was going on and, you know, how, how serious it was being taken. Today, those protests continue 24 hours after Drayshawn Reed was shot and killed by an IMPD officer. At the same time, IMPD Chief Randall Taylor addressed the investigation and the department's relationship with the community. I can promise you that we will we'll run a fair investigation. I always wanted to listen to family members and their concern. I have the fullest confidence in Chief Taylor. Robert Jackson is the president of the Ministerial Alliance of Churches of God in Christ. Robert went to the protest last night at 62nd and Michigan Road. I didn't want to make a rush to judgment. I was there just to listen and observe and to support and console some of the young people who are very uh, traumatized by this event. Tonight, he's urging people to pause and wait for the facts. You need to view things with emotional detachment. And once you do that, you can see clearly. Don't deny the facts. If he had a gun and he turned around and took a shot at the officer, the officer has a right to defend himself. So let's wait until we hear again the conclusion of the whole matter. As IMPD investigates and the community deals with the pain, leaders remind everyone to speak up without turning to violence. We have to be respectful, but yet we still have to display our concern. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. All right.